That same system that's arriving in our area has already created blizzard like conditions in the northern plains and deadly tornadoes in the south. ABC's Rena Roy continues our coverage. Rena. Yeah, Charlene, this storm system is absolutely relentless. It has been hitting millions of people going state by state. Right now, nearly 150,000 customers are without power in the Midwest as the death toll across the country continues to rise. For the third day in a row, multiple states across the country under tornado watches. It was like a loud whooshing sound, and then I heard all our stuff flying and smacking into stuff and our windows busting out. Louisiana getting slammed at least three people now dead because of the storm. An EF3 tornado battering Union Parish, Louisiana, with 140 mile per hour winds on the ground for nine miles. The mayor of Gretna says up to 5,000 buildings are likely damaged in her town. Widespread destruction also seen in Harvey. There's sheet metal wrapped around this telephone pole, that power line there. Every home on this street badly damaged, if not destroyed. Amanda Dufresne was in her Jefferson Parish home of nearly 15 years when a tornado hit. I covered my kids with my body and just prayed. At least 54 tornadoes now reported from Texas to Florida since Tuesday morning. And further north, the same massive storm system bringing blizzard-like conditions. We have to go to Duluth now because remember there's a northern part of the storm. They've had 10 to 16 inches. We are not getting into cars right now because you got another foot or so of snow. South Dakota shutting down major highways with three feet of snow falling in some areas. In Utah, a skier hit by an avalanche had to be rescued after spending 45 minutes buried in the snow. The rescue mission took about eight hours. And as you just heard from Sam a moment ago, now the storm has its sights set on the northeast. Pennsylvania and Virginia bracing for a dangerous ice storm as cities along the I-95 corridor also get ready for heavy rain and strong winds.